In this video, we are going to learn how you can create a beautiful certificate using Master Study LMS. So let's get started. We are actually using a demo site provided by Master Study LMS. You can see the offer from Master Study is over here. So this actually gives us access to the pro version of the plugin, which is actually required for building certificates or creating certificates, because that is a feature that's not available in the free version of the plugin. Okay. So if you have Master Study Pro, you can create certificates with it. You can get Master Study LMS Pro from the link in this video's description. Now let's quickly take a look at their pricing plans. If we take a look at the pricing page, there are two types of plans, annual and lifetime. So first, let's take a look at the annual plans. The first plan is the starter plan, which is free. It gives you a free license, free updates, community support, and a starter theme. The next plan is the single site license, which is normally $155, but it's available at discount at $89. This gives you one site license, premium add-ons, updates for one year, priority ticket support, and the starter theme. The next plan is the five sites plan. It's normally available at $280, but with discount, it's available for $229 per year. And it gives you license for five sites, with premium add-ons, updates for one year, priority ticket support, and a starter theme. And the final plan is the developer's plan. It gives you the unlimited license, and it's normally available for $480 per year, but with discount, it's available for $399 per year. And if we take a look at the lifetime plans, the single site license is available for $499, which is a one-time payment, but with discount, it's $299. And the five site license is available for $799, but with discount it's $599. And the unlimited license package is available for $1199, and with discount it's available for $999. After getting Master Study LMS Pro on your e learning site, visit your WordPress dashboard. Then follow this tutorial to create your certificate. First, we're going to click on MS LMS. From here, we can see the certificates option over here. We're going to click on it and we're going to click on get started. Now this will launch this certificate builder here in the middle. We can see the certificate itself with some of the elements placed within it. And on the left hand side, we can see there are some demos over here. You can click on any one of these. Okay. And you can customize it to make this certificate your own. So these are certificate templates. Over here, you can name your certificate, you can preview your certificate, you can save your certificate. On the right hand side, there are some certificate elements such as texts, images, certificate code, current date, course name. You can add these elements to the certificates and customize them to your likings. Okay. In the background tab, if we click over here, we can actually add our own background images. Okay, so if you have a background image designed, you can upload it from here. And from here, you can assign your certificates to certain categories and courses and go to the courses section directly from here. Okay. All right. So let's get started and let's build one certificate from scratch. So to start building a certificate, we're going to click on this plus button over here. And it's going to ask us to choose a layout of the certificate. Okay. So you can choose either vertical or horizontal certificate. We want to create a horizontal certificate. Great. You can see that we have a blank canvas. Now, first, we are going to give our certificate a name. So from here, we're going to click on this pencil icon and write a name. Okay. So this is a course on our website. So we are going to create a certificate for it and from here, we now have to choose a background. So I'm going to click on backgrounds and you can already see they're saying we recommend using images with 1600 into 1050 pixel size or higher. So we're going to click on this select image button. And from here, we can choose a certificate background. So we do not actually want to create our own certificate background. We're going to choose a background design that's available in this demo site. You can see that this has the recommended size. We're going to click on attach and now we have a beautiful certificate background. Now let's go ahead and let's start adding some elements. The first one that we are going to add is an image. So we're going to click on add. Now this adds this section where we can upload our own image. So we're going to click on select image. And from here, we're going to choose a logo of our site. Okay. I think this looks great. 
but you can see that it doesn't look very well so we're going to resize it okay that looks a lot better now we're going to place this over here i think it will look good okay i think i need to expand it a little bit great so in this way you can add in your site logo the next text that we want to add is the heading text so let's go ahead and click on text over here and we have a text now let's go ahead and add in our own unique text i've written certificate is awarded to now you can see that you can also customize your text so we are going to remove the italic and i'm going to center the text and then i'm going to increase its size to 40 pixels now let's expand this okay and you can see that there are four marks over here which will help us center this text so our text is centered now we can also change the font i think this is looking great now you can see that our design is looking a lot better what we can do is we can also capitalize everything so it will look even better but i'm actually okay with this text next we are going to place in the name of our student so the name of the student will be a dynamic data right you don't have to create a certificate for each time students complete the course to fetch the dynamic data we are going to look over here and there is the student's name so we're going to click on it and it's going to be added next we're going to drag and drop it over here and we're going to increase its size to 18 pixels okay so let's expand this and let's center it and i'm going to remove the italic all right so that is the student's name now we are going to add some more texts so we're going to click over here drag it and drop it over here and now let's add our text okay so this is our text we're going to now center it and choose the Montserrat font and uh, we're going to remove the italic and also remove the bold text and also center this text over here and if we read the text that I've written over here it says this certificate is awarded to the student for his her amazing performance in completing the following course so now I will have to put in the course name so I'm going to click over here the course name and drag and drop it over here and increase the font size to 18 pixels let's increase this size center it and remove the italic okay so this will fetch the name of the course now currently this certificate isn't attached to any course but once we add this certificate to a course the dynamic data or the course name will be displayed over here okay now we are going to add in some more extra details text over here we're going to drag and drop it over here we're going to write instructor then we're going to remove the italic let's put a semicolon over here okay now we want to add in the instructor name uh, let's increase it to 18 pixels and the instructor name is over here so we're going to click on it and here is the instructor name it's going to be placed over here and let's increase the font size okay next we're going to add in the date so let's hit on text and write date over here and now we're going to drag and drop it over here and we want to add in the current date it's uh, found over here current date and we're going to put it over here so when the students complete their course and receive the certificate that date will be added over here okay and then we can also add certificate code area so let's add text drag it and drop it over here and write certificate code so we're going to remove the italic and let's place it over here 18 pixels uh, i think we can make it 14 pixels great now we are going to add in the uh, certificate code element over here great so we have completed our certificate now after you complete the certificate you can just simply click on save certificate button over here and once it's saved we can click on this preview button to take a look at how the certificate is looking so if i click on preview okay it's going to show me the certificate and it's looking really great well this text has come over here i think we need to push it to the right a little bit but otherwise it's looking really great now let's close it up and let's go back to our certificate builder so i'm going to grab this and place it over here 
also place the course name over here okay now it's looking better now we're going to click on save certificate once again after making our adjustments now we are ready to attach this certificate to our course so let's go to link certificates and click on courses this will directly take us to the courses section as you can see so from here you can see that we have a course called engine creating on unity from pro so we are going to click on edit with course builder now this will open up the course builder and this is actually course builder of master study lms so if you guys are interested in learning how you can create a course in master study lms we have a tutorial on this topic make sure to check it out to learn more about it okay so we're going to click on the settings tab and from here you can see there's a section called certificate we're going to click on it and over here we can choose our certificate you can see there are the demo certificates but this is the certificate that we created so i'm going to click on it and let's click on save okay so the certificate successfully saved now that is how you can create a certificate in master study lms and add it to your course now we've seen how you can create and add a certificate to your course now from a student's perspective how can a student access his or her certificate it's really easy so we're in the front end of our master study site so if a student logs into his account this is what they're going to see from here they can access their account so if we click on this drop down here you can see there's a section called my certificates if we visit this section it says you do not have a certificate yet get started easy select a course here pass it and get your first certificate so once your student passes the course the certificate can be downloaded or accessed from here if you want you can add a section to your website where the certificates issued by your e-learning site can be verified here anyone can access the site and enter the certificate code and verify the certificate so this might be a good thing to add to your e-learning site if you want to know how you can do it we will put the link of the master study documentation in the video description you can check it out so that brings our video to an end we hope that it was helpful for you guys if you found this video helpful give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on wordpress so thank you for watching see you next time